that's not him. LV and Gucci, that's not him. Kids don't swim when he goes I am you, but I'll take call like mine is too. And you're confusing all your peers because you're a battler that's been losing for the years. Enough said, now we bump heads and we ruin his career. It's dub steps that'll bring music to my ears. Yo. See me on the street, don't speak properly, the snow it's not gonna be love Nah, man just get a mean mug I don't want no friends, don't want no enemies, so what you telling me dog? This one feels like a cold kind of vitamin rush Ketamine bars ain't selling fees drugs, just doing this better than it's ever been done Package it the bun, crumble then wrap it in the blunt Potent high, close my eyes and smoke till I just float in the sky like a landing on a rug Ian Danny in my cup while I blaze the green, let me paint the scene Got brothers like Scott Summers, and my eyes red enough to shoot laser beams. I'm wavy lean, man, I'm wavy as a navy fleet, sailing seas, lost to imagination and make believe. Play the beat, my creation. Skip, don't flop all fucking day. You know the score, as always. We are here, final battle of day one. Don't flop, 6.5 birthday wardrobe. If you're in the building, make some noise! Yeah! We're here 2015 for the birthday 6.5. Alright, we're going to be back here for enough events this year and next year as well. Alright, cool. Final battle of day one of the weekend. This is a judge battle. Of course, it's a title match. You know it's a judge battle. But as always, make sure you tweet me on at Twitter on Don't Flop as well on at Don't Flop with all your opinions if you agree with the winner or the loser. Do you know what I mean? Alright, cool. MC on my right hand side in this title match. He is, of course, the current champion yeah. from East London, Tony. Yeah. I don't know if you've been sleeping under 50,000 rocks or whatever. If you haven't seen that shotty horror verse Tony D classic, make sure you watch it. Because I fucking won and all that. <laughs> reason you haven't seen Shorty Horror vs Tony, please watch that battle, it's a fucking classic. Alright, and the challenger, the uh, third challenger for Tony D's title from Plymouth, been putting in work since 09 in Don't Flop. Make some noise for you now! Score final battle of day. As always, a title match. We have seven, not five. We have seven judges for this battle. All of them are completely unbiased, man. We got a real good panel of judges. It's going to be three rounds, three minutes apiece per round. It's going to be a long battle because obviously the titles on the line, money's on the line, and a trophy and a load of other fucking shit, including respect and dignity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Keep that. Alright, who's going first? You know, yeah. Alright, cool. Final battle of day one is the Don't Flop title match. It's on the challenge of unanimous round number one. Let's go, you <laughs> Shocks. Oh. One thing, bro. <laughs> when it comes to the size of names, there's a big difference between mine and yours. What I'm saying is if you're shocks, then I'm raiding in a lightning storm. What's good, Tony? You think because I'm from the southwestern shit? That I'm some narrow-minded racist inbred? Disregard what you think you know about my life. I'm a hell raiser, but my mother didn't raise no pinhead. Yeah, I've got this down to a science. My formula one, and your road to demise is clear. You've had a good year, but this a pit stop because you retire here. They said that They said their magical dragon raps cannot match his punches, I'm just not as good. My response was, look, if he's Mayweather, then I'm a page in a Harry Potter book. Okay. I'll catch him while he mixing that precious elixir of whiskey and Martell. Ain't a mountain to him. I'm a mountain to him and he's over in Martell. So you're not a drug baron that run with a cartel. Just cause you do drive-bys with snitches in the whole cartel. Yeah. All that mumbling about, yeah. All that mumbling about guns and drugs you do on wax exposed to snitch shit. You and your man and man. 
What I'm saying is, if he on the beat, then he babble on, but not to worry, it's usually just about shit he hasn't got. Cause conceiving his two kids, the only time he let a magnum off. Old man, <laughs> let's go! Old man, you've been taking baby steps. So lace your creps and hope to God your ankle's strong. Cause if this a race, then it's the red ribbon you're balanced on. And I'll rip through an old rapper like I'm opening a marathon. Nothing but. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing but arrows and darts in my collection. The archery's progressive. When I first used it, it was casual. Now I'm moving up to practical so you can be the target for a lesson. I don't think of you when I think of battle artists that are legends. I think what's his face possessed, dig, martyrs representing. I'll play psalms on your aged palms just as I read them. Bring your disciples. If they disciple, I swear to God they guard the and angels are starting an intervention. And T cries as I guide his partners up to heaven. And meteorites leap from the sky, causing palavering in trenches. What the fuck did you just say to my guy? I said, Stigmata, palms just as I read them, guardian angels, antichrist, lavering in trenches. What I'm basically saying, he need the Holy Father to protect him. This ain't war and that's commencing, it's the start of Armageddon. <laughs> Like you've accomplished shit. You're like 50 or something. <laughs> How can you tick things off your bucket list when you're pretty much kicking the bucket? <laughs> That's why when you act like you're some god body champ, it don't phase me. Because at 36, you had a classic verse shotty. I did that when I was 18. Yeah, yeah. Me and Shotty, me and Shotty were cool, but I'm not holding this nuts. Why don't you and him join forces in a handicap against me right now? And I fuck both of you up. You said I could, you said I couldn't show up, and then you didn't show up. So what are you talking about, huh? Like I didn't call Shotty straight after you battled him. Like yo, you done choking him out? That's cool. Ain't no need to get the mortician round. Just bring what's left of him to Leeds and I'll throw his corpse in the crowd. Yeah. I ain't shotty horror. I'm not shotty horror. I ain't cat gun comedy. I'm machine gun funk, I'll give more shots. Fuck the boring you bought, I'm thinking more chemical warfare. Blankets full of smallpox. I ain't trying to be a shotty. My hand gonna send him towards God. Cause even if we're talking manually operated weapons, then a mini shot is a sore enough. This for all the times I let you convince me I didn't have it in me, but stay searching. All the nights I skip my bed and grip the pen until my head was straight hurting. You can't be the king. <coughs> me and the king? We're the same person. But if you claim king, cause you're who they worship, then I'm cutting through your crown like a brain surgeon. Cause when, cause when unanimous in rage, you can bring your whole gang up on the stage. Strap them all with blades. They won't put up a good fight. These claws and make Vegas stripping. If you're pack killers, I'm Shug Knight. <laughs> You know what's some funny shit? I don't need a pack of brothers. I only need money, Mitch. Let's go! Let's go! This crowd, about to witness an arresting sight. There's nothing but bars in your future. Like, boy, them got your arresting sight. I know what I came to do. I'm just giving the rest in sight. I came to put you to sleep, and he picked Leeds as your resting sight. So they think. They deemed you the next in line, just means you the next to die. I'm about to tighten up this cunt and put the squeeze on the pussy. That's a Kegel exercise. Yeah. This like police testing guys to see if they're correct to drive, cause I excel when the machine get lit up, like being breathalyzed, I mean. Are you with me, yeah? I mean, the type of victory that T envisioned. If I described it cryptically, it's like sex with Serena Williams. <laughs> Why is that? Why? Why? Oh, you ain't reading me. I'll make it clear for you, Tommy. Sex with Serena me. Man ain't watching no face, fam. I'm just here for the body. <laughs> Man ain't watching 
ain't no face fam I'm just here for the body I swear I'm about to teach you how to play the sport And lead by example With punches, schemes and wordplay galore All arranged in ways I ain't displayed before I beat you so calm No qualms, tone palms to scrape the floor That's hands down I got the man now sweating Like it's his day in court And they got HD footage of that face of yours Blatantly breaking laws and engaging in baby porn I mean you under pressure Cause you are on trial It just ain't for your freedom it's for the claims you can beat him. That's make believe for the public, but it ain't the public that you gotta make believe it. It's a jury of your peers. Hand picked to sit and listen to the evidence presented, then come to a swift decision, but you a patsy. Condemned to be the victim of the system, cause I'm about to bar your life away with conviction. <laughs> Right, these are death sentences. That's your chosen fate. To cap it all, your punishment's capital. Ironically written in lowercase for little you. The object of ridicule, like how the fuck fat boy punching above his weight versus a skinny dude. <laughs> Just admit the truth. The wet tone kinda sick and my punch count High as Roy Jones by the fifth and you yeah. Don't fare well against big punches You kiss that W Fare well against big punches So this battle ain't fair well Cause I'm a big puncher So farmer boy you plainly failed, cause this my field of excellence Before you attract the haymaker bell Cause when I pick Cause when I pick through which moves would fit you to fix you this Formula One So in truth I'll retire the champion Like Hamilton's pit crew, I mean When it comes to us rapping, look When it comes to us rapping This an abundance of talent versus hunger and passion Bagger jumping and acting, but that don't count for shit fam You confronting a champion Now you Stole disaster style to his breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and now you rap like a long collapse. <laughs> what the fuck's with the accent? You punch like you just contain them in functional patterns of multisyllabics of how you do destruction and damage of variety of medieval weaponry. You find in dungeons and dragons. Did it build to a crescendo, chest thumping and stamping, and it gets to the punchline, but nothing will happen. <laughs> Crescendo, chest thumping and stamping Then he gets to the punchline And nothing will happen But he'll spit like he did And you'll get sucked in and gas it <laughs> Bruv <laughs> Them elaborate lengthy statements Just demonstrating that though it might be entertaining Them steps lead nowhere Your salves are trapped in the Escher painting oh. Oh. Among my peers, you are not considered a lyricist. Just loud and quite cocky and afflicted with Munchausen's by a proxy, because he ain't as sick as you think he is. They compared you to a challenge. I don't see the likeness. I just spotted a body like the measles virus. But still. <laughs> Sniper approach for real. You only need one round if it's a headshot. The next two's overkill. This is my shit. I'll seize the throne and they'll go ape shit to Caesar's home. Let's straighten, let's straighten this out. I didn't come to leave them crease in tone. I came to leave a crease in tone. Mm. My graveyard plot getting kinda thick And as it takes a violent twist That's when my iron fist to steam your clothes. Mm. My heart race as your heart rates decrease in tone. But they say that height shit, I shouldn't try it. Because Tony D's composed. But I say, my jab's operative, I snap shots at him and see if Tony decompose. Fuck, whatever Tony decompose, I'm leaving Tony decompose. Cause you will think Tony's 
nice. I don't think Tony's nice, it don't excite me. I'm Baraka blended with Jack from Tekkenah. Smash your head in and have it where paramedics gotta hold your IV. Cause I'm a, I'm a local pikey in a pair of stories. I'm a local pikey in a pair of stories. I'm a local bikey in a pair of stolen Nikes. Don't just strike me, I weave the shot and lace you from the side like total 90s. Yeah. Yeah. UK battle raps, answer the bam bam bigelow. I stick him up and threaten the slit's throat. Where the cash at? Where the stash at? What you broke? You like I keep the drugs in my ass crap. <laughs> really though? To me that shit gayer than dick to throw. No matter the weather, I'ma stand in the snow. White girl in the boot like the stand video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand yeah. really though. Yeah. Grow the fuck up, Tony. <laughs> I can't. You're, oh, <laughs> You're like 43. <laughs> Still Twitter beefing and referencing porno scenes. That's probably why he thinks I beat bitches, because he knows I'm a war machine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See now, you're half Irish and half black, right? That's cool. This Irish side is currently arguing with his black side over who needs another Guinness. This black side trying to tell me I can neaten up my lyrics. And this Irish side offering me a hand next time I'm Beating up my missus. <laughs> <laughs> you need a couple minutes? I saw you tweeting that you visit a therapist. <clears throat> Fucking soft cunt. Who you calling sensitive? <laughs> Imagine this. <laughs> Anthony. <Right. coughs> Anthony. This is your conscience speaking. <laughs> Therapy said. I'm feeling a little funny, mate. You've smoked way too much pot this evening. <laughs> Anthony, this is your lungs. Drop the J and concentrate on your breathing. Anthony, this is your stomach. Them pills are to medicate you, they're not for eating. Anthony, this is your legs. We've come across a sudden loss of feeling. Anthony, this is your wrist. Immediately stop the bleeding. Yeah, how are you gonna call me white boy when you have white boy? White boy? <laughs> Face it, you hear that white noise playing? Huh? I'll drag you to a Plymouth cliff top Below nothing but boat shrapnel and washed up white boys waiting I like my Ian Daniels on the rocks and I'm getting white boy wasted I don't need a racist bar to break apart the Jamaican parts of you To beat me, you need Bob Marley's roots King Selassie I to autograph and sign his heart to you You need a guinea and boots and a khaki Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You support Tottenham, right? The team you support coincides with the number of your recent CD that people have bought. Here's one. Tony Smith Show. Total shit, bro. <laughs> we didn't see that album Blind Stores. If I'm being upfront, no one had to buy yours. <laughs> this shit could get quite dark. If I swing a right hard, it'll give you light part shade. Home more away. Wherever them whites are playing is where your white heart lay. <laughs> Clips did you fucking dirty and didn't write. I'ma eat him alive. He'll be sitting in my innards, twisted like a victim of the litter mine. It's kickoff time. This is when missiles fly. That white Tottenham kit will get hit with a crimson tide. For the sport, for the sport, you give your life, and in return, I lay a white lily for a lily white. Yeah. Fuck out of it. Alright, there are so many angles you can use just to bully him. <laughs> I didn't know which ones to choose or the order to put them. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Should I bring a visual aid and literally throw the book at him? <laughs> or a PowerPoint presentation in the form of a bulletin? <laughs> in the end, I thought, fuck it, it's back to basics. If we all could just look at him. <laughs> Tell me, what makes you think that this image works? Can you spit a verse looking like the poster boy from Britain's first? <laughs> And the shit gets worse. Cause aside from your dress code, you've got a haircut that says, I do that myself when I get home. <laughs> I do. I do. I do it myself. Your haircut says it, it says it. <laughs> Have you ever been to a dentist? Your mouth screaming, heck no. But tell me, women read smiles and the gaps in your teeth spell out friend zone. <laughs> Even a smile, mate. That's a prerequisite to get to sit on a Jeremy Kyle stage. I mean, so he lost some weight, and now he has a chin. <laughs> but that body shape, it got you looking like a beanbag with limbs. <laughs> hey, but they ain't watching that. <coughs> See, they love Tommy's flow. But it's the fans' adoration that's your problem though. Cause it make your ego fill this room. Your self-esteem fit in your pocket though. Oh, no. I'll explain why. Face to face, he's a really safe guy. But he go home, that get left, cause we see it ain't right. He touch down in the pad and switch characters like GTA 5. <laughs> Tommy don't want beef, but that unanimous, that part of him stronger, and that make him create and stay in the drama for longer behind his keyboard, acting hard because he wants to play the part of a mobster, no heart, like a monster, this bitch different online, like that David Masters imposter and Cara the Costa. Oh my God. Yes. The fact is, the fact is, you a battle rap biz catfish. Yes. Can we turn up? And tough guy turn out to be a fat bitch. Life's a green screen. The camera go off and his backup disappears. So from here, you get ignored, fam. You know what? Furthermore, man, blocking ain't enough. I want this broadband from broadband, car. I'm sick. I'm sick of his Twitter shit. I mean, he don't exactly run his mouth, but he really let his fingers sprint. <laughs> Can you believe the chief tweeted me? I'm 22 with more views than you. <laughs> Tommy, it is true, but what the fuck is supposed to mean to me? When I was your age, I signed with Sony BMG. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so. Bro, fuck your views. They don't equate to profits that inflate your pockets. You got all them views and ain't seen the view from the label's office. Oh. <laughs> It ain't my intent to boast, I'm just letting the brother know At your age, this fella rode Opened up events and shows for Busta Rhyme Saga, the Immortal Tech and Adela Soul I got memories, I got memories, experiences I put in work back in the day You got some battles and a bookmark on your verse tracker page Now, now let's talk about your battles I mean, what is the deal? Your two highest viewed battles are Shotty and Vil. Proving the point, people only watch to watch you get killed. Car yeah. villain, car villain nearly made you cry when he was catching that body. We seen it, we seen it, bruv. Yes, he did. 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 
<laughs> Villain nearly made you cry when he was catching that body. Shotty said he'd bang you out. And you backed out from that shotty like Ricky in the alley before they blew his back out. <laughs> The next tag is Fuse Disaster. That was in Leaves the Bar. When he smacked that hat off your head, I was thinking, leave it. Yeah. <laughs> then he brought PH on stage. And when he came out, your heart rate start racing a little bit weak, I'm high. <laughs> now this classic footage, it's online, anyone can have a butcher's. You get repeatedly punked on cam. Rowan Five play Ashton Kutcher. So to summarize, so to summarize, you're ugly as shit. You ain't shit. You just talk shit. You won't do shit. Money Mitch knows. You won't, you won't be shit. It's all bullshit. Well, shit. You know what occurred to me, bro? Not only do you not deserve this title, you don't deserve your ego, bro. Yo, this shit looking worse for you than Manchester T. You get a mastectomy and watch your chest plate bleed. Cause this round, booby trap, son. I damn near got rid of this tit on page three. Yeah, Tony, your dad's gonna be pissed off again. Cause you let that little white boy from the country call my lick off, yeah! Yeah! And my mind still bears the question. What happened to Tony D in Canada? Like all of you, I was watching that thinking, he's supposed to be the champ of us. <laughs> this joker, he embarrassed us. And when he addressed it, it's just a bad day at the office. That's when I noticed something ropey in his character, because that weren't no bad day at the office, Tony. That was an overseas business trip where you were supposed to gain promotion for your management. You should have been proposed your winning toast. And return to the Queen Victorious like the Mitchell bros back in control. Instead, you should have been, you should have been, you should have been, you should have been proposed your winning toast. And return to the Queen Victorious like the Mitchell bros back in control. Instead, we watched Trevor slap you up on camera and you return to the East End as little more. Ah! You're some borderline alcoholic middle-aged guy. Only a poisonous poet because you start slurring your words after one too many snake bites. Your one-liners, they don't equate right. They struggle round Bowski's waistline. But if they do go round the globe, they stop just before Canada like customs got them stuck in custody stateside. Yeah. As if it ain't deluded enough to think that you beat Clips when you just about beat Chris, who are fucking bodied, you said I'd bit in your raps. Oh man, I should spit at you and give you a slap. You ain't never got no reaction bigger than that. And if I'm biting you, then you're biting Curtis Jackson because you're like 50 in rap. Yeah. Yeah. See, I smashed it in Canada. You got smashed in Canada. The difference is that. See, you had home field with a Mac, and you didn't put clips in a bag, the Brits had you gas. That's why Tom's history, because geographically there's a big difference in class. If you took Tony 2 and Y, then they'd split him in half. So don't go fishing, so don't go fishing for compliments. I'll rock your fucking boat, cut your throat, give you gills. We're two sharks in the same ocean, Tony. Short side of the ocean, I've been hoping to fail. I know on the net, I don't exactly keep my emotion concealed. And it's bait when I bite easy, but when you went to swim with bigger fish, you choked on the real. For real, Tony, for real. Could a fucking, could a member of your team beat me? Low key still trying to get Israel to sign that peace tree. <laughs> Tell Lock Smith I'm lock picking on this field. Reveal and get his organs revealed easy. And Doc Brown been soft since he got a record deal. With see babies. <laughs> it's for all them road men. Fucking white boy from the country gang busting off no skin. For gassing him up like Tone Diesel. I should give Tone lead. It's a tag for Tony's toe because Tone dead. So you can all take note and tune in for Tone death. Tone left with no breath. 
he need oxygen And the tank leave a hole in Tone's head Cause if I'm from the country, then my country ain't no country for old men mm. yeah. But it was Locksmith that gave me one. He told me, careful with the kickback, fam. That's when Mr. Thirteen's face went wrong. War's in my blood. Yeah, war's in my blood. You don't know who's terrain to run. You can ask my mum, mate. We shoot until the veins are gone. Yeah. 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 So that's my, that's my permission slip for you to bring up a addiction, prick. In fact, dish it, in fact, dish it in portions. Cause luckily I got villain to ghost write me a whole round on your sister's abortion. Oh, oh, shit just got real. What, is this on you in life, fam? Fuck you, I like that. That bitch sleep with a bottle of vodka and a coat hanger on a nightstand. Just in case, cause clinics started charging her in advance for their services and she already supplied grants. I'm talking pound after pound like hollow the Don type man. Asian man, black man and white man. She let them all lay, and she let them all lay raw. And as a man, I question you, cause as an older brother, you should have laid laws, brother. Need I say more? She a straight whore. Let any kid from the block beat it up for an eight ball. Type of girl I wouldn't even have to make a cake for. <laughs> Seven times this week. <laughs> and you support her habit still? After she burnt so many baby daddies, that the human torch could have his fill, consume her warmth and have to chill. Watch her spew a corpse is barely taking human form as she lube her walls with Vagisil. I heard that girl been pregnant so many times she's grown immune to more than after pills. Oh, yeah. Two abortions before she was 16. That's pretty vile. If you say it ain't true, I respect you in denial. Cause she didn't even have the age to lose touch with her inner child. Yeah, yeah. But let's keep it all the way real. Your life isn't really any of my business. I don't really give a fuck about your wife, children, or your nine sisters, and how they all allegedly be getting pregnant and white sniffing. Cause even if it's true, shit happens. That's life, innit? I'd rather talk about how your life finished. I ain't denying you're nice with it. But rappers like me defy limits. I really break down your style with it. Like, what's wrong with this guy's image? Why is he spitting about all that crime living and nine gripping? He was never whipping water, and if he was, he was fly fishing. Try oh. minutes. Yo, hold it down. So you smashed it in Canada and I choked. Believe it, because it's fact. Funny thing about it though, they ain't invited either of us back. <laughs> Yo, I've been tailor making buddy bags to let these fashion conscious rappers rock. Now, since this pussy stepped, that's a cat walk. So, for that course, Tommy Hill figure in my catalog. I swear I wasn't gonna go proper hard. I was gonna catch this buddy smile with leftover shotty bars, but then again, probably not. It's instinctive in truth. My name and title's on the line, so my pen resort to signature moves. I brought the bar. Oh, you can make a fucking way, I bought bars. By now, it's just habit. That poison ink devastate when it flow through the pad like flood damage. I use words to abuse and torture. Few verses assume a slaughter. You, sir? to do the scorcher. I mean, I spit hot enough to evaporate the two-thirds of you that's water. <laughs> all he need, all he need is a fez type hat. And for his next trick, Tommy die on stage. Just like that. Now, now if you're on my knees, that's a fucking bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ears. <laughs> hey, I unload clips, clap the ill Mac and rinse the shot he already. Now Tommy's getting sprayed. It's like Gangland Chicago in the twenties. I'm heavy. Shadow cast on one sloppy night's work. Aside from that, everyone they gave me I beat. 
I ain't saying it was light work. I'm saying anything in my path, I got it covered. Hold on. Ain't that how light work? <laughs> you see this type verse? It exposed, there ain't no hope for you. I mean, I'm up here doing what I'm supposed to do, but really, they should have traded dialect or soul for you. But yes, sir. Yeah. Soul for you, but you see them early don't flop rappers. You the last of the chosen few. You here for the years you put in. They felt it's owed to you. It's a reward for time served. This your testimony. Oh. <laughs> It's a reward for time served, and I'm a no at the board of parole for you. Car, when it come title wise, I'm a childish guy moving brattish car. I'm finished with it. I ain't playing. I just don't want you to have it. You know what I mean? <laughs> There will be no highs in this low life, low life. Cause I beat you, so did Shotty, and you lost the soul twice. There's, there's levels to this Tommy, and you almost reach it, but you don't quite. And that's what I gotta make this kid learn. He didn't know, I'm a different nigga. You like the guy that confused Sam Jackson with Larry Fishburne. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he think he can win. He should just be happy that it's his turn. Shit, I'm on a wave. I feel our money cause we deep in discussion. You got some bras thinking he would win. He getting beat like a cousin. Classical schemes, classical schemes by the dozen. But it ain't just to sound cool. It's cause how you conduct yourself was instrumental in orchestrating your downfall. Too fucking easy to do that. <laughs> One bug. <button>. Two. Two. <laughs> Orchestrating your downfall. Car. He claims no apology is the policy. So all the sorries he's inboxing me is hypocrisy. <laughs> Car. You play tough. But you ain't made up of that brave stuff. You only bang when it's lights, camera, action. You a Hollywood sex scene, you fake fuck. That's why. That's why. That's why he tweet, then delete what he's talking about. Like when you said you will stick your dick in Enigma's daughter's mouth. And when I pulled you up about it, you said people got sand in their vagina. Bruv, you said you would instigate and participate in the sexual abuse of a minor. That is not a minor. No. Let, he's a fucking nuts. Yeah, let him know. Listen, that is not a minor. You are a beast. That's not a minor. Let me remind you, in case you had a memory lapse, it wasn't mid battle. You haven't even scheduled a match. You said it. Bruv, it wasn't mid-battle, you hadn't scheduled a match. It wasn't in an argument, heat of the moment, words flying out your mouth, it was on Twitter. You actually had to type that shit out. That make you a dirty fucking beast, boy. <laughs> Bruv, you spoken them threats to me? Broken neck, my G. That's why you get no love, no ratings, and no respect from me. You're a bad joke. That's actual facts, boy. For example, knock knock. Who's there? Unanimous. Unanimous. And that's exactly my point. <laughs> Yo, what's good, man? It's Impact. Just watch fucking Tony D versus Unanimous, the much anticipated title shot. And I've got to say, man, like, I like Unanimous. I rate him a lot. He's got bars and all of that, man. But I think Tony taught him, like, Tony taught him a lesson, man.
like Tony just fucking killed it, bro. Every round, I'd say 3 0, man. It's like, it's hard for me to say that because I love you, Unanimous. I fucking rate him highly. But Tony D, man, like, he proves why he's the champion of this shit, man. So, 3 0, Tony D, man. Yo, watching that battle, I've looked forward to it for so long. It's one of the biggest battles that's gonna happen. There's no bias on anything. I love both of them. Basically, I started doing like a point system. I was writing down shit, and like, halfway through, I just stopped. And like, by the end of it, it's basically. When you get one of the best schemers and one of the best writers up against the best, and that's all it was for me. I give Tony Edge in every round. I think I've never seen anyone broken down that well. The stuff Unanimous done in the third round, I'm all for conservation shit to me. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't get knocked out for that, because that is some real serious shit. I, as the Unanimous as bad, it was a bar fest, a comedy fest on both sides, but I've just got to say, Tony styled and I thought uh, like going into it I didn't think it happened but Tony styled three old Tony sorry. Yes what's going on it's Brucey Brutality yeah now nah. Yo, I'm trying to say before I judge this, yeah, I thought he came into this thinking that Unanimous was going to take it, like, Tony D's had the title for a while, so, I just thought it feels like his time just to pass it on to someone, like, maybe he wasn't the right guy, but going into the battles, Unan didn't really bring it when he started, like, he was just, he was doing a lot of quiet talking and stuff, everyone just wanted to see him, like, just take his head off, you know what I mean, he didn't really come with nothing, like, he was sick, but, like not on it enough and then as soon as Tony D started spitting that eight bars that was it, it was in and then he just took the next three rounds like, he just went yeah yeah unanimous versus Tony D next level title match um, I have to say personally I think Tony D won this battle I think overall like each round you know what I'm saying he, he just had the more quality of bars he was more direct I think he broke Yunnan down like in every single way possible um, Yunnan's third was strong as fuck yeah I didn't like some of his angles, but I feel if he came like that in the other two rounds, maybe going through his neck, it might have been a different story, but yo, Tony got it all the way, you get me? Uh, Wade Williams, fucking cracker, judging this fucking title match, big fucking match, obviously, Yunnan versus Tony, two fucking giants in this battle rap thing. Uh, I gave the first to Tony by a little bit, uh, I gave the second to Tony by a little bit, and I gave the third to Yunnan by quite a lot, but um, Tony had the bar of the battle for me which kind of stands out from most of the bars from what both were spitting. Uh, the GTA bar, the you change characters every time you hit the pad, talking about unanimous social networks, I thought that was just sort of the bar that it was a bar, it was almost a joke, it was kind of funny, and it broke them down at the same time, and to me that was the bar that probably stood out. So I had Yunnan taking the third by a lot and Tony taking the first two by, by margins, but to me Tony took it almost with that one bar because it really stood out to me. Crack a piece. Yes, Luna C, big up Dot Flop. Um, that was a sick fucking battle. I think both of them came hard as fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Tony D though. I think just like consistently just edged it a little bit. But yeah, I think Tony D, I think Yunnan smashed the fuck out of it. Both of them killed it. Sick battle. Probably the, definitely the best of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Tony D. Boom! Yo, Shocks the Rebel, uh, just judging Yunnan versus Tony D title match. Um, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Yunnan really had some hard hitting bars. Uh, the F1 scheme in the first round, especially, was sick. Uh, no bias because he called me out in the first bar of his first round. But I would give that 3 0 to Tony D, but it was in no way a body bag. Like, Yunnan really came with it, but Tony's punchline count is just off the charts. And I think he broke Yunnan's bars down talking about age and Canada, and it took away a lot of what Yunnan was saying, really. But yeah, I'd give it to Tony D. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, uh, last time on camera today. It's the final day, uh, sorry, the final battle, even of day number one of the birthday 6.5. Everybody's still here in the wardrobe. Please make some noise. Let's go! Yeah. You'll see both of them back numerous times this year, maybe the next year as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it on camera right now, you ain't getting out of this. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, real rap, checkpoint's coming April 25th. I'm hoping to see both these guys on the card against two international women. We'll see what happens here. All right, yo, anyway, it was you now versus Tony D. I don't for title match, man. And then we had seven judges. Make sure you watch the judges' decision at the end of this video, or I don't for next year, whatever you decide to do. But actually, it was a unanimous decision. And the winner picked up 7-0 on a real level. The guy picking up 7-0. No, on this title match is winning for a third time. It's Tony D.
yo, check it, yo. I ain't gonna let this motherfucker get away that easily. You said you were gonna give up the title on camera in front of these people right now. I'm gonna pass you the mic. What are you gonna do? You're gonna give up the title and you're gonna battle someone else. Because you know, I'll, right, basically, I wanna do Tony D vs. Chilla Joe to my brother. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Third time, bro. I'm gonna pass you the mic. What are you gonna do in the title? You give it up and you keep battling. What are you gonna do? Get that money, Tony! <laughs> Do Yo, do you know how I feel about it? I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't want to take this battle at this precise time today. I didn't want a, a, there's certain opponents I don't want. I don't want to have to battle when I have to battle. So as far as the title goes. This is the end, I'm giving up the title. Make some noise for Tony! The best, the best. Danny Jack, the new champion. The best. I made battle rap history as the first person in a written league to defend it twice. Yeah. And I just defended it for the third time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that, my name's in the record books, I'm cool. But to be honest, you lot, you need somebody that wants to be here. You need someone he made who's Danny Jack. Someone who <laughs> whoever's in front of me is taking heads off because that's what when he wants to do. Yeah. That's no longer my priority. So as far as the championship goes and the title, here in Leeds today after winning it for the third time, I am giving it up. I'm letting it go. But you might see me again. <laughs> One question. If I fly Chilla Jones over on April 25th for my 26th birthday, will you battle Chilla Jones and finish your sound? Yeah, 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 it's not, not his fault, you know, it's me. Don't, don't blame him at all, it's me. I'm a shit kind of when it comes to doing this stuff. I'm awful. Awesome. Uh, if he, uh, see, right now, I'm saying no. But you see, in March, I might say yeah. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? Yeah! yeah. 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 Go on, hey, chilla, you die in April. <laughs> and when you choke on your bars, you don't entertain the crowd like I do. Like I, I'm gonna go get a drink. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and how you expect to? <laughs>